This is a fan perspective of Carnifex's brand new album, Necromantium. Brand new album coming from Deathcore Legends. Carnifex, one of the all-time greatest Deathcore bands of all time. And yeah, they started out with uh, some absolute bangers in their early career. They're still putting out bangers. This album is an absolute banger all the way through. And yeah, it's fantastic. So I'm going to give my uh, perspective on it as a fan. But, yeah, again, Carnifex doesn't disappoint as this album is as intense as all their other albums. And, yeah, this album definitely stands up to their other albums and continues their discography quite well. If you were to listen to their discography from front to back, this one would be a very good ending to it for the time being. Um, Carnifex has always been known as one of the most intense deathcore bands out there. And, well, the intensity is here. And, yeah. It's absolutely all the way through this one, plus a little bit more of like atmosphere in this one too. So that's also really good as well. The tone of the record being dark and dreary definitely fits the cover art with the songs giving off the same vibe. I definitely like how it just gives that the cover art feel honestly throughout this whole album. It's just the dark and dreary like atmosphere and hard hitting hard hitting drops and all that stuff that I'll go into later. Uh, vocals are as good as ever as Carnifex has always been at the top of the vocal department. They've always had the best vocals and you know they rattled the floor when I seen them live. Like they were like the the venue was shaking honestly. It was epic, honestly. It's just they're one of the best live bands out there. Um <clears throat> Anything from the lows to the highs to the big slams, the lows being the low, like death, like the really low down vocals to the high end, like the high vocals to the big slams and even the atmospheric parts lead this album to be fantastic all the way through. It is hard. It, it was hard picking five songs in this one to give to be the standouts, but yeah, honestly, I believe I picked the five best ones from this uh, record. I don't know if they're singles or not. I didn't actually uh, check out the singles when they came out. Um, I just found this album recently when it came out, and was like, how the fuck have I not heard the singles before? I usually check out the singles before. Uh, standouts, Torn in Two, Intense from, st from the Start, Pounding with Brutal Vocals and Punishing Riffs. The, songs, the song title is fitting of the content, Torn in Two. And yeah, the, the song title is basically fitting of the song, or fitting of how brutal the songs are. Um, Deaths, Deaths Forgotten Children, from one banger to the next, the song features the current vocalist from Chelsea Grin, which is fucking epic. I love that band as well. I did check out their newest one as well. Plus, the vocal performance on this song is absolutely amazing. Everything else about this song is amazing. Just a banger song. The Pathless Forest, having this wild song in the middle of the album is brilliant. I like how the heavy, brutal parts are mixed with the atmospheric ones. Very much an atmospheric song. And that definitely gives off a uh, forest vibe, Pathless. How the Knife go, how the knife Gets Twisted, more of a groove lace song. Kind of like something you would hear on a groove metal, like groove metal type album. It has a really good, like, yeah. With some brutal parts thrown in there. Definitely like this. With the deathcore vocals. Like, this song is pretty fucking good, honestly. Um, any of these songs are fucking good, but just the five I have here are, like, beyond fucking fantastic. The other ones are too, but I just had to pick five. Infinite Night Terror, my favorite song on this album, as it's an ass kicker all the way through. All the different parts, including the cer uh, including the certain type of part, I will not describe it. Fitting, like, I'm talking about Deathcore. I'm not going to actually talk about that certain part that everybody loves in Deathcore albums or songs. Uh, yeah, I don't talk about that, so. Um, but, yeah, it fits together and works together nicely. Absolutely love it. This album was a good ride all the way through it. I was looking for like two weeks to find an actual copy of it and I fi finally found it at one of my uh, the record stores that I frequent. Glad I found it because yeah yeah this album is this album is fucking great it honestly is it it stands up to graveyard confessions quite well 
I don't know which one I like better. I, you probably will find that out in maybe like a week because I'm going to be taking a break. That's why I'm putting out more content. But yeah, hope everyone liked it. And I will see everyone whenever uh, my break's over, which probably will be a week, maybe. But yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned for that after... Now stay tuned for the ranking of card effects. I have another ranking in the works that I will be get, trying to get done during my break. Um, like, it's a non-filming break, so it's, yeah. So, yeah, peace.